My lighting situation is like not good right now. Hello and what the heck is up my Atlanteans? For today's video, we'll be doing something really exciting, something new, something different. Okay, so I know that I don't like usually or like at all really um, have like touched upon the Nana Na surprise dolls. Like it's not really like in my alley, if you kind of know what I think. If you kind of know what I mean. Because when not that surprised, they're usually like, like kids. I don't, like I'm, I like the high aspect. Like monster high, rainbow high, mermaid high. But when it came to like not enough surprise, the original not enough surprise, like I don't know. It's kind of like in that field of baby doll and I really do not prefer baby dolls. All surprise babies are cute, but like, I don't. That's why I don't really have any of them is because like, there's a point where I'm like, mm, but I love boy dolls and I love like fashionable boy dolls. Like, you know what I mean? Like we have Ken, but he, I love River Kendall. He's like one of my favorites. And I love the the boys in the Nana Na Surprise. Uh, I'm really about to start collecting these. I love the boys in the Nana Na Surprise universe. Like they're all dressed so well. And I don't know, like I've, I'm gonna be honest, I've been intrigued by the, the fact that they're supposed to be like, kind of like stuffed animals and they're based off of like animals. Like that's like really interesting to me. And I chose this guy specifically, well first, it's a little treat for myself because as of the time that I'm filming this, it's my birthday. And I decided to treat myself a little bit. I want to get myself something that like, I don't usually buy for myself, which is like Rainbow High or like a Monster High doll or something. I want to get myself a non not surprise and I want to get a boy. Specifically one of the like kid versions because they came with this little pouch and I need a coin purse. So, so here is Maxwell Dane. Um, he is from the Glam series of Nanana Na Surprise. This is the newer version of Nanana Na Surprise packaging, because before it used to be like it used to have like this whole surprise element, like it was like you couldn't tell which one you were gonna get, and um, like everything came in packages. Honestly, I hated that. Like I, if I had that much plastic, I know that I really like you guys know that I love the LOMGs. Like I am now realizing how bad the plastic is and i'm really like i love like rainbow high like the new dolls so i'm really trying to be good with my plastic usage overall surprise toys aren't really a thing for me anymore so yeah i'm like really happy with this because like you can completely see everything that's inside there is no like extra packaging it's just the like blister and the toy inside and probably like a couple of like twisty ties so yeah um let's take a look at the box um obviously it is a complete like blister package situation it's completely see-through in the front here we have the illustration of maxwell dane right that's his name he is looking so snazzy in his little leather um like conductor hat and like this little leather jacket with the sleeves <laughs> he's just so adorable and then here it says not enough no, surprise and we have like the normal warning stuff uh what is there anything interesting no apparently there's small parts but there's small parts that we have. and of course it is by mga and it says one set and then on the top it says glam series and here what does it say tom purse yes so that is the little purse that i was talking about and i loved this purse like the black and like the kind of quilted kind of texture I love that. The patent leather, it's so cute. We on to the back, it's gold. Here we see Maxwell Dane in his entirety with his little palm. Given my paw prints on the world. Oh, that's all it says. <laughs> so there are six to collect and here are the other ones. And honestly, I am not particularly uh, interested into getting any of them. Oh, but that girl is real cute. I think if I do collect them, I'll only be collecting the boys. Um, there's one with a shark hoodie and it reminds me of like myself in like high school. Cause I used to wear 
like this hoodie that had like literal shark teeth on it and like I'd wear that all the time. Like everyone knew me from it. So that is the box. I am going to take him out of the box and we're gonna take a closer look at his accessories and then we'll take a closer look at the doll. Okay, so I just got him out of the box. I gotta say, um, I'm really disappointed. I know MGA is like notorious for having like elaborate packaging, but um, I thought there'd be something in the back of it, but there was nothing. It was just the doll and the bomb. I mean, the packaging in general was very pretty. I really liked the like quilted Tiffany blue background for him, but I don't know. I think, I think MGA could do better with like the with like less plastic, less waste, you know? Let's talk about the palm. He is so handsome. He's so stinking cute. I'm so excited to use this. I'm so excited to put my little coins in here. It's, it's basically just like a little coin purse, honestly. Or you could put him in it. <laughs> That's what a lot of people do, I guess. Um, so you can put him in here and you can take him around. Honestly, now that I think about it, that's like, Cause you, you know what? I always take dolls around with me. Like I always have my emotional support brass doll in my, in my backpack. But, um, like you, like sometimes that takes up room, but it's, I don't know. Like I like showing it, but this is like a really nice way to like, to like put him in there. <gasps> oh, I don't, okay, okay. So let's talk about the outside part first. It's adorable. It is like this iridescent black fabric. It's quilted all over. I don't know if you can like see that. The eyes are actually embroidered on. I can't tell if it's like embroidered onto the actual thing yet, but like it looks like it is. Um, we've got green sparkle eyes. Yeah, it's just adorable in general. Um, it's got two little ears. I don't know if they're supposed to be from like, uh, like more free because right now they're just like kind of tacked down but you can see that under the the black ears it's like an even shinier type of material and we also have this really cute egg clip it's i think it's intended to look gold and it has like little dog ears i don't know if they're all different but um this is freaking cute. The fact that it comes with this is so adorable. And there is a zipper in the back because of course you can open it and it has a little uh, zipper pull. I don't know if you can see that, but it's also, it's in the exact same shape as the, as the uh, bag clip. Um, except it says not a not surprises. You literally cannot see it. The lighting is so bad, you literally cannot see it. Let's unzip it and see what's inside. So, inside first uh wow okay so first looking inside you can like completely see that the eyes and the nose are in fact actually embroidered onto the fabric there you can see all of the stitching here it's really nice i mean it's not lined at all like it's not anything fancy but it's really nice and inside of it is not only a bag shaper but we've also got a little checklist oh so it's like a little poster on the back there's nothing wasted space i would love to see like a brat situation where like you could see like all of the previous releases or the releases coming out here we have everyone on the team so here it's like a literal checklist you can see that there's like a little area where you can like check mark it we've got maxwell dane victoria grand alice hoff oh i like her i also like callie grizzly she's really cute chrissy diamond and ari prism is she supposed to be Ariana Grande? She doesn't look like her. Alrighty, so let's take a look at the actual doll here. So this is the adorable Maxwell Dane. Of course, he came completely dressed. Wow, okay, so I know for sure that these hats are tacked down onto their heads and that's like basically holding the wig down. So we're not gonna be able to remove that, unfortunately, but you can see that the hat and the ears are the exact same material as the little palm in like the ty fashion oh like the little stuffed animals he's got a little peg protector um i wonder if i can open this because i want to see if it says anything okay so i was not expecting and that's some like information there so it says not enough surprise mg entertainment and it says maxwell dane it says his name it says april 15th he's a taurus and it says, leave in my conference all the world. Okay, so it's like, 
is the exact same thing that's said on the box. Um, but yeah, it's just like the little like TY tag protector, when is their birthday thing. But it is sparkly and on the back side it says Glam Series and on the front it says not enough surprise. So, um, let's talk about like this doll objectively. I think it's so, like it's so nice to hold on to. It's just like, he feels like a solid toy that I can actually play with. Cause like Rainbow High, they have so much hair and like they're so detailed and fancy that like I'm scared to like play with it. But this is like, he does have the, um, like the cloth covered. Um, he is plastic on the inside or like some kind of a softer material on the inside. And then he's covered with uh, the printed on fabric. Yeah, fabric. It's printed on fabric. Um, it's really cool. Uh, he, his head turns. Like even though he's supposed to be like a stuffed animal, his head turns, like he has articulation, guys. His arm, both arms go up. They go up and down, obviously restricted by the jacket, but still, look at that. And his little legs, he can sit down, kind of. Of course, he's wearing pants, so it's a little bit more difficult, but he can sit, like he's got actual, like joints, kind of. He has like the basic five points, but it's still really nice. I mean, obviously, like he's still like a stuffed thing, so you could still bend him. It's just, it's just not gonna stay. <gasps> Whoa, okay. We're gonna talk about his outfit in a sec. Taking a look at Maxwell Dane, he does have the cock Asian skin tone. Just really cute, like he's really handsome. He's, he's looking dapper in his little outfit. <laughs> he's so cute. He's, he's got green eyes. He really does match his little palm. Looking at his outfit, yes, he does have that hat with the little ears. Um, he is wearing a t-shirt that says, life is na-na-na. I don't know what that is a reference to, but I like it regardless. He's wearing this really cool biker jacket that's um, like black pleather on the body part, like the bodice part. And it even has like the little uh, adjustable clip thingies that are there. They, I, oh my God, are they die cast? Oh my God. And he does have little buttons on the side here as well. Of course, we've got the really, really nice zipper detail, the really, really nice embroidery to emulate like metal and his sleeves are completely white and it's got like this little scribbles all over it like dog inspired scribbles very nice to see and we have the little zipper detail there as well he's wearing some dark wash denim jeans and it has like this white ribbon on the side and what's really cool is that he's back pockets but they open up like you can actually put stuff in there for his shoes he actually wears socks under or are they no no that's part of his body i want to take a look at like his body first, <laughs> but um, his shoes, he's wearing like these really cool um, black, I'm gonna say they're Doc Martin inspired, but they're general army boots. He's got like a little gold uh, toe cap there, which is really fancy and really cute. I really, really confused by the gold and silver. I, th I thought we don't do that, but. I don't know, he's rocking. And he's just got little white laces. Oh, this is the perfect opportunity to make him like platform, but whatever. Alrighty, and I was just like really interested to see what he'd look like underneath. Cause I know that like all of the Nananas have like really intricate, um, but like very different um, like printing on their bodies for, to like emulate their underwear. Um, Here's Maxwell's. He's wearing like these really cute boxers that's like, I don't know what it's a reference to, but it's got like all of this like dog prints. Like we got a little like paw prints, a bone, and then the band is red and it just says not a knot all over it. He's wearing little sockies and they're like piked up all the way and it just says not a knot on it. And he's so cool. He's got like this really nice sparkly, like there's sparkles printed on there, like this nice sparkly watch. And on the other side, it just looks like he has like a really cool, like, uh, I don't know if I'd call it a chain, but it's a really cool bracelet. And what's really nice about seeing him like this is that you're able to like really see like how his joints work and like how he's like actually able to like move. Like, I just think that's so cool. Like you can see, 
oh my god i don't want to break it but yeah like overall i just think that this is such like an interesting way to do like a stuffed animal as a fashion doll you know Alrighty, everyone so that is everything for this video i hope you guys liked it please like comment and subscribe if you want let me know what you guys think about not enough surprise do you guys want to see more videos of these because i think i might be getting the boys because the boys are like so so cool to me it's just like the fact that i'm getting boy dolls and like the fact that they're actually like kind of dressed in the way that i would want to dress that's really exciting to me hit me up on instagram at atlantics.jpg hit me up on tiktok at atlantics.mov and i'll see y'all on the flip side Bye -bye.